everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Dirty Bomb, a Let's Look at I Am Doing Because I Hate Myself. That's not to say that Dirty Bomb is a bad game, but it is A, a first-person shooter, a genre which I am admittedly terrible about, so I'm prepared for comments like, Oh, learn how to aim, blah, blah, using a controller. I'm not using a controller, okay? Don't be mad at me. It's also free-to-play, which uh, a lot of people have strong opinions about before they even know what's happening. And it's in open beta, which, while not technically Steam Early Access, it's available on Steam in open beta, so it's kind of early access when you think about it, isn't it? That being said, um, I'm doing the video because I played about an hour of Dirty Bomb on the NLSS on Thursday, and I said, you know what, this game seems pretty neat. So I played about an hour of it this morning, and I was like, you know what, I think this game actually is up there when it comes to Steam free-to-play stuff. Obviously, there's that upper echelon of, like, Team Fortress 2, which has been around for seven or eight years now. And um, Dota 2 and stuff like that that gets played all the time. This, I think, could be a nice little weekend diversion to those games if you were interested in, uh, you know, breaking up some of the monotony. Not to say those games are necessarily monotonous, but if you have 1,500 hours, you could have some fun hours with Dirty Bomb as well, as I have been having. Kind of like a nice, there, there's like light strategic elements, light squad based elements, and I think it's probably one of those things where you, you get out what you put in. If you want to be a super hardcore player, you could, but for me, kind of casual drop in, drop out, games aren't too long. I've been having a good time with it so far. We'll talk about the free-to-play stuff as we get further and further in, but I actually think it's executed not in a totally terrible way, and um, I don't I don't necessarily think it's pay-to-win, at least I haven't encountered pay-to-win elements, but uh, people may have different opinions about that as we move along here. We're just going to go into a quick join match here. There are presently, according to Steam Charts, roughly 8,000 people playing the game right now, which is quite a lot, actually. Uh, we're going to be playing some U.S. East Objective 6v6, and that'll give me a good chance to explain what's going on. Um, but there's 8,000 people, roughly 8,000 people playing this right now. That puts it at roughly at the same level of Left 4 Dead 2, The Binding of Isaac, Payday 2, etc., etc. Binding of Isaac Rebirth, I should say. So it's in there in like the top, you know, 20 games on Steam. Let's load in here. All right, have we, we've already started the game. All right, so what's interesting to know, before we get in here, I'll be the dude who's shitty to my team and not spawn right away, so it'll be 4v6. You have a squad, basically, and this squad is entirely you. You can choose to spawn either as Skyhammer or as Aura or as Fragger. It's a class-based game, and it's a squad-based game. I might not... Oh, actually, still am able to get into the game. So Skyhammer is going to be like a utility class. He's got some abilities that can throw down airstrikes and stuff like that, and a decent amount of killing potential. Aura is our medic. She can bring people back from the dead really, really quickly, and also has a healing ward, basically, basically that she can put down. And Fragger is like DPS, and he has a frag grenade. But we're going to play as uh, Aura here. We'll deploy first, and then we might have to actually play a Skyhammer when we first get started. We're deploying in a few seconds here. Now, it's an objective-based game, so your goal in objective, there's also stopwatch, which is pretty similar, but uh, your goal in objective is basically to blow some stuff up or steal some stuff, etc., etc., and the levels are multi-stage, so you'll, like, blow up a wall. Oh, I don't like the way that this looks right off the bat here. Yo, old Doug, you around, buddy? Um, yeah, after I die, I'll respawn. Right now, I'm Skyhammer. Um, you'll see... Hopefully, if we're able to offer up some kind of resistance here, I've mostly had pretty good games, uh, you'll be able to see what's going on. Now, there is... Oh, this is developed by uh, Splash Damage, the makers of Brink, so there are some light parkour elements that I'm not really very good at. I'm just going to use the floor here, but I wanted to show off that it was at least possible. It seems like we are getting crapped on right here, so I'm going to try to throw an airstrike out there and maybe uh, slow the enemies down. I got 50 experience just for casting the airstrike. Casting, probably not the word that you would normally use for that. I am probably super dead. Hello, sniper friend. Hello, sniper friend. Let's get ready. They're going to come through here. we got to be ready. This is a game that's... It looks a little, you know, counter strike -y, but it's much more fast-paced. It looks definitely more like Call of Duty than Counter-Strike. This is a game where you're encouraged to move and shoot an awful lot. Oh, jeez Louise. Let's respawn as the medic here. I might have a better chance. You're encouraged to move and shoot. Um, You know, there's not that much kickback or recoil and... Uh, it's in your best interest to, to constantly make yourself as hard to hit as possible. So I much prefer playing as the medic. We have a shotgun um, and a pistol. I don't really want to, you know, basically pocket med medic this sniper. kind of want to come back out this side and maybe leave him to die because I'm an asshole. And, oh, there we go. I can use my defibrillator to bring you back. All right, so that's our defibrillator ability. There's no cooldown on that. It just brings people back from the dead um, without them really requiring a huge amount of time to do so. People are, when they get knocked out, they're actually just sort of uh, temporarily incapacitated. So you do want to give them a kill shot to finish them off. That was also a healing ward that I just dropped down there to make, oh, to, uh, to help out my team. That's our objective right there, by the way. We have to blow something up. Now, of course, you know, it is a it's a free-to-play game. And I haven't unlocked... You actually have to hit level 5, which is more than two hours of gameplay. But you have to hit level 5 
uh, to unlock the matchmaking ability. So I'll heal my teammates here. Um, you have to hit level 5 to unlock matchmaking. So these are pretty casual games, and oh my god, they got exploded. Um, as they are casual games, uh, sometimes, you know, your mileage may vary when it comes to your teammates. We gotta finish in there. Please resurrect me. I thought I was doing okay. They're gonna shoot me in the head. Bring me back. Baby, come back. I think I might be the only medic. Every si Well, the vast majority of games that I play, it's either I'm the only medic or everybody on our team is a medic because they start with a shotgun. Okay, so she is resurrecting that dude, but I am going to get killed here, so I'll just redeploy. So, uh, it, it is a game that has elements. It's not deathmatch. We just going to clog their aimbots with meat. Uh, I, I cannot confirm nor deny that the other team are using aimbots. I, I would find it surprising if you were in a casual game using aimbots, but I am perpetually surprised on the internet. So, it's possible. Drop that healing station down. At least I'll get some experience before I die. I probably should not have run out here by myself. Um, there's cool elements of, like, sieging. Oh, go for it. Oh, you fucked it. You fucked it. I'm dead. You fucked it. I fucked it. I'm dead. Okay, we're still, still alive here. Um, there's cool elements of, like, attack and defense, and I think that's what really is the strength of the game, is these moments where you're, like, you're really, really trying... Oh, I got you, dog. You're really, really trying to uh, to push in and, and get to a choke point or get to your objective point. Really, dude? What happened there? You are... you tapped out. There is nothing more frustrating than being about to res an enemy. Or, sorry, res your teammate and then they tap out. I think that I uh, am the only one left alive up here, so I should probably move. Otherwise, I will be super dead soon. Yeah, it's that uh, that give and take that you have. And the mechanics are strong. The game looks good for the most part. Uh, occasionally, you know, you're going to end up in a game that is not looking so hot, like ours right now is not looking so hot, we're probably gonna get shit on. I like this cricket bat thing you got going on here, even though I did just get blown sky high by some frag grenades. Uh, if we're gonna be like full on no chance uh, to win, this is actually a pretty strong game in terms of the number of, uh, like the level of the players. Um, are you gonna res me? You are gonna res me, that's a nice guy. Um, I was gonna say that I should just go DPS. Oh, Jesus. Um, so yeah, let's let's go DPS then. I'll play as Fragger and maybe we can get some more kills. But mechanically it's strong. I think the game looks relatively good. The main thing that is negative about my time with Dirty Bomb so far is that it is a little generic. Uh, it, it does... Oh jeez, those frag grenades have such crazy range. And everybody on their team is apparently going to use them. Um, which I don't begrudge them. If it's a winning strategy, it's a winning strategy. Hopefully that one doesn't get too close to me. Um... You can see there's a cooldown on the frag grenade there. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, it's a little generic. You know, it looks a little samey. I would definitely say that. And when I was playing it on the NLSS, one of the common criticisms was like, you know, why would I play this over playing, uh, you know, Call of Duty or over playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive or something like that? Well, the reason is because they are different. You know, they occupy... I'm just waiting for frag grenade to be ready here. They occupy uh, different uh, kind of niches grenade didn't kill anybody? I thought it was beautiful. Um, gotta finish that guy off unless he taps out. They occupy different niches, you know, this is a little bit more uh, fast-paced, kind of casual fun, and it's free. So there's what differentiates it from, like, Call of Duty and, and Counter-Strike, in my opinion, at least. That is definitely gonna be a grenade. So I'm gonna walk into the line of fire here. Oh! Might be able to make it. That's an orbital laser, which is another ability of a different character. Now the classes are, you know, it's a free-to-play game. The classes are behind paywalls. There's a free rotation that rotates people back in and out. Why don't we play as the Sky Hammer here and we'll use the, the airstrike marker maybe to help us out. Because uh, there's 32 seconds left in this game, we're not going to accomplish anything. We should probably just stop watching or running headlong into the enemy bullets. This is what always happens, by the way, and when I do these, like, l let's look at some free-to-play games. Like, when I looked at Fistful of Frags, it was just like, oh, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, I suck, just dying over and over and over. Um, Oh, I already threw an airstrike by accident or something? What happened there? I'm trying to get close enough to... Oh my god, is that... I'm an idiot. I really should have helped our team out there. I admit, by the way, that my aim is terrible. And we lost. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, man. Well, maybe I'll try to join a different game and we can experience that a little bit more. 
because we lost pretty hard there. But we'll get experience as we finish. I also think the game is pretty slickly presented. But yeah, you can see based on the people that we're playing against here, um, they all have different squad cards. So I've got like the basic loadout and some of the other people have some of those basic loadouts with like the DPS class. But then there's also a sniper class. There's, a, there's classes that are more utility or support focused. So they'll have things like med kits instead of a healing ward. That way you can, you don't have to defend that point. You can actually just, you know, get healed and then go on your way. Um, all sorts of interesting stuff like that. It's actually a game that when you have a good game, feels really nice. I'm going to return to the menu here. And while we're in the menu, uh, just to break up playing the game a little bit here, I don't think that game necessarily showed it in its best light, by the way, because we got shit on. But it wouldn't be fair to just get in a game with like five people that I know and start talking and strategizing, because that's probably for most people not the way that they're going to play it either. Um, but there is that element. There are cases in the game. You can buy cases from the store. Let's take a look at the store. For a thousand credits, you can buy a case. Elite cases on the other hand, are gated behind uh, paywalls. Elite cases, as you can see, they give you a random loadout card for one of Dirty Bomb's mercs. A loadout card basically allows you to have different abilities and different weapons. So you don't buy weapons individually and slot them into your mercs. You have to get merc cards, which you get from, from the cases. And the big difference is that uh, a case can give you a silver, gold, or cobalt level uh, loadout card, but it's mostly going to give you lead or iron. An elite case, on the other hand, at 549 per case, by the way, that is like, it's kind of steep, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, these games do... Let's put it this way, there are more egregious examples of free-to-play bullshit. And I don't think it's pay-to-win, I don't think you can actually get, like, a, a card that just makes you a substantially better merc. I think it's based on rarity, but don't quote me on that. I don't think there's anybody that gives a card that is just like, Hey, you have an ability that when you hit Q and you have your mouse over somebody, it neutralizes them and explodes their body into like poisonous acid that hurts all their teammates. So you can buy cases and you have a small chance to get those silver, gold, or cobalt things. You can also get uh, credits boosters, which I really disagree with the principle of, but um, you know, your mileage may vary on that. Loadouts you can purchase as well. Um, so let's, we were playing as the medic there. The medic is Aura. Uh, we start with the shotgun and the, well, we, let's put it this way. We start with the, um, it's one of these shotgun weapons. I think it's that one, the Renberg, Renberg 7. And the Colden, and then that is a cricket bat. So you can buy, basically, I, I think it's a little unfortunate that you can't buy stuff piecemeal, and instead you have to buy the cards individually. Um, purchasing each loadout, it also has different abilities associated with it, of course. Um, purchasing each loadout gives you, um, or costs you 379 Canadian, which will probably be 350 USD, or 17,500 credits. I don't think that's a really efficient use of your credits. You know, again, this is about two hours worth of credits here. So you could get a new loadout in maybe two to three hours, or you could spend it on something else. And of course, there's also bundles associated with this here um, that I'm not going to go into. There's a lot of ways that they kind of nickel and dime you, but it's totally fine to play it. It's not like you feel like you need to buy more stuff right off the bat. So in terms of like free-to-play grossness, on one extreme, you have like Dota 2. Dota 2 gives you everything for free except for cosmetics and the occasional like credit boost during the international funding two years ago. Anyway, um, that's really good. Not every game does that. That's an extremely rare example. That's what I think games should strive for, but it's pretty rare. This is somewhere in between that and something that's like completely disgusting because this is totally playable. It's not like a, a mobile game where you're experiencing, well, not all mobile games, not all mobile games, I should say, but it's not like a, some mobile games where your experience is completely hampered by the fact that if you don't pay, you don't get enough chances to play or enough credits, etc., etc. Um, let's open our case here and see what the heck we got. I've been talking too long here. I expect that we'll probably get something shitty, but the game is, uh, you know, it has a great Counter-Strike Global Offensive style, uh, you know, tick, 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 slot machine going here. And you're like, oh shit, there was a Cobalt in there. No, we're going to get another, um, probably a Bronze here. But that's okay, Lead, sorry, Lead, not, not Bronze. That's even worse. So now we got a new uh, loadout here for Skyhammer. Receive an audio warning when enemy artillery or airstrikes are incoming on your position. That's uh, kind of useful, but probably not as useful as actually having a like genuine airstrike. And I guess I was wrong. The iron and bronze cards actually do carry more augments, which might make it slightly pay to win. Anyway, um, I'm not going to look too much more at the store. Let's play another game here, because that, that last game we played was not that fantastic. But I've pretty much said all that I'm, I'm going to say about the free-to-play stuff in the game. I, you know, whenever you get review requests from, from companies for these games, oftentimes, and this is not me trying to, oh, come on, don't do this to me now. Don't do this to me now. Not giving me the option to find a game. There's tons of people playing, but sometimes my antivirus software, like, anti-colludes with Dirty Bomb and causes some problems. So I'll just, 
try to reset the game here momentarily. This is this is a, a thing that happens in a lot of Nexon games, actually. They have, like, some anti-cheat software called... What is this here? XIGN code 348834. And it, uh, it causes some weird online interactions sometimes. So you might have to give me a second here. But, yeah, uh, you know, when you have these requests to to play free-to-play games, oftentimes they're like, we'll hook you up with a lot of credits. Oh, no, we actually are joining a game here. So my, my bad for assuming that that was a, the problem there. Ignore the black screen. It will fix itself in just a moment here. Um, I, I prefer to go into these free-to-play games, Brawlhalla accepted, because I'm a huge fan of that game and totally biased as is, but I prefer to go into these from the perspective of someone who's going to play them completely for free and be like, is this a viable experience without putting any money in it? And the answer to the question here is absolutely. Uh, I, I've had a lot of fun, and I could see myself spending a, a decent amount of time this weekend playing it. I'm going to play as the same characters, and I'm going to actually try to have a good... Oh, come on. You're going to abandon our team and make it the uh, 8v6? I don't like that. There we go. We filled out, though. Uh, I'm going to play as the medic here. Because I, it's just, I tend to play support. I gravitate towards support in my games. And I feel like as long as I am, um, well, I guess we'll do it when we come back to life. As long as we are uh, healing people and bringing people back to life or doing our job, the fact that I can't aim doesn't really matter. Well, unfortunately, I'm not a medic, so I can't really do too much to help you here. Yeah, I'm going to bring you back, dog. This is why you have to have a medic, because it takes 100 years. To bring people back if you don't. Yeah, he's going to tap out. Honestly, I think that's probably a pretty smart decision. I'm going to run away from you. And we'll try this out. I don't know how many maps are, are in the game. Oh, yeah. Cool, dude. I don't know how many maps are in the game uh, as of present, but uh, I've played at least three of them. I think there are more than that, though. This looks like another game where we have just been like completely hemmed in by the enemy, which is always disappointing. In terms of like, in terms of enemies, they they are mostly uh, well, not enemies, just players in general. They are like bullet spongy for sure. Um, they can probably take. Uh, oh, what do you think here? I think I can maybe get him. Lower, better, closer. There we go. I got a finish assist at least. Um, they are pretty. Oh, you tapped out, you dick. They are pretty bullet spongy. Um, but usually like. Four or five headshots will kill an enemy, but if you're not looking for that, you know, I can direct you in the direction of a, a, a Valve game that is a little bit more tactical that you'll probably be a bigger fan of. Alright. It looks like we've actually made some progress over here. I should also apologize because, you know, in my limited experience with the game so far, I haven't really... Uh, oh, did we do it? Yes, we did. I haven't really had the opportunity to... Uh, acquaint myself too too much with the maps I'm still basically at the part where I'm like running around towards the objective and being like okay let's <laughs> try to kill enemies we also do have a melee weapon that does a lot of damage um, if we get up close and personal as you can see it's also great for finishing enemies off but that was not a good decision on my part and I just had my body exploded so I'm gonna come back as the medic here because I think our team could probably use one whether or not I am the, the medic that we need is another question altogether all right let's do this squad also, there is a built-in voice over IP. I've turned that off right from the get-go because, obviously, uh, this is an online multiplayer game and I want to maintain my sanity. <laughs> but you, if you're playing it with people you know, you can do something better there. All right, so we can repair our uh, EV here. This is our objective on this level, is to get our EV repaired. And then it just kind of automatically goes. It's got kind of a chivalry vibe for its objective-based gameplay. Uh, and there's all sorts of other stuff that we can repair as well to make our life easier that will give us access to alternate paths. There we go. Give us access to alternate paths that we can take in order to, uh, you know, maybe get the jump on the enemy, flank them, or surprise them. It's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and I hope we get maybe, like, a little bit more of a chance to show it off. Let's throw down our healing ward. Right there. Make sure we're finishing off the enemies. That's pretty much going to be my job for now. I also selfishly must admit I like it because it gives me the opportunity to, uh pick up experience without having to actually shoot people, which I'm not a, necessarily a pacifist, I'm just really, really bad. Okay, you're gonna be fine, dog. But also, where the heck are you going? You know what? There you go. I'll, I'll, sometimes the models can look a little janky, admittedly. Our EV has been disabled again. I'm not sure, actually, when you're on defense, I'm not sure what you do to, um, to disable the EV, if you just, you know, do a certain amount of damage to it or something like that. If that's what causes it, you got an assist there, at least. And the finish. I think you get more experience the faster you finish enemies. Now, with our healing station that I've been putting down and calling... Oh, jeez. Where's my... Where's my buddy dude? I had a buddy dude next to me, and now there is no buddy dude who is next to me. Um, with that healing station, you can reclaim it, and then you don't have to deal with the, uh, the cooldown timer associated with it. Whereas, 
I very much... Oh, come on, dude. I very much have to deal with the timer since I did not reclaim it. So this is something that we repaired, and by repairing it, we got access to this turret, which we wouldn't have otherwise had if it uh, were not for the fact that we spent our time repairing it, which obviously leaves you very vulnerable. You know, it usually takes 20, 30 seconds to make that happen, so... I think it's, uh... It's interesting, that kind of, like, balance. You know what game this reminds me of? Kind of a lot is, uh... Great shot on the stationary target. Um, it reminds me a decent amount of, of the original Monday Night Combat. Oh, I didn't hit you. Uh, a game that I actually liked quite a lot. I put like 100 hours into that on the uh, on the 360. And I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you for the health. I appreciate it. I wish I had my healing ward that I could give to you. Um, and you could make the same arguments about the original Monday Night Combat as you can make about Dirty Bomb. Is it as good... I thought that was... That is an enemy. Okay. Is it as good as Team Fortress 2? Does it have that kind of longevity? Probably not, alright? That game's been around for eight years and there's still tens of thousands of people playing it on a daily basis. It's beloved. That doesn't necessarily make it bad. It's kind of a fun diversion to just, you know, get together with your friends and it's very easy to get it because, you know, pretty easy to convince your friends to buy something that is free, if I had to guess. Um, and just invest a little bit of time in Now, obviously, you're spoiled for choice when it comes to, you know, free-to-play games as well. Uh, oh, come on, 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 come on. But I, I think that there's a... If you write it off for being generic... That was really stupid of me. If you write it off for being generic, I think you're going to miss out a little bit. This is a, a fun little diversion with some cool character progression. How you feel about the free-to-play stuff might uh, inform how you feel about the game in general, but uh, I, I've been having quite a good time with it so far. I, I cannot see myself playing it for, you know... 70 hours. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. However, I could probably see myself playing it, uh, you know, now and then, or... Oh, that's gonna hurt real bad. Yeah, well, I rezzed a person just to get cut up by the laser, so maybe not a smart idea. Um, or, you know, playing it occasionally on the NLSS or something like that. It's like 90 minutes Don't to talk to me, my friend. I thought I had muted all of you. I don't want to vote kick, uh, vote kick you. I think I almost did it there. That's okay. I'm just gonna make sure I do this. I thought that I had turned the voice off, but apparently either I didn't, or I did, and it did not work. Okay, I'm gonna get you. I got you, knucklehead. I got you! I am dead as heck. I am somehow still living long enough to res my teammate who can bring me back to life. At certain, um... I don't want to say objectives, but certain milestones, you will get, uh... Abilities. Or, sorry, just uh, extra credit bonuses, basically, or experience bonuses. Yep, 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 yep. These guys have gone, like, full... Airstrike and orbital laser build to keep us from getting that last objective, uh, or, you know, finishing our objective tree, which is fair. It's a really cool game. It has a good sense of scope as well, you know. It, it's got the, the airstrikes and stuff like that kind of give it, like, a return to Castle Wolfenstein or enemy territory feel that I think is cool, and uh, that combined with, like, its fast-paced nature makes it very, very, very playable, I think. I'm going to try to get behind. I'm not really trying to flank. Mostly just want to give myself a chance to bring my teammates back to life. And as a sniper, he could save the day. Oh, come on, dog. You're just... He <laughs> he tapped out. Oh, yield. Oh, yield. All right, I'm going to heal myself up a little bit here. The the healing uh, station heals you so quickly. So, so quickly. All right, snipers. This is your time to shine. Get us in there. I want to plant the dirty bomb. No, that, what's so funny? You got it, dog. I really like the, the kind of style of gameplay. Um, I think... Oh, jeez, run. I really like the style of gameplay that is like, um, uh, attack and defend. I gotta get back in here. Sorry if you're getting nauseated by my terrible movement here. Uh, I really like that style of gameplay, so I think this game does a good job of it. I'm not much for, like, Team Deathmatch anymore. Um, I, I much prefer objective-based gameplay, and I think this does a, a really good job of selling it. Oh, jeez. I was so close to actually saving my team a lot of trouble there, but instead I'm going to be dead for literally 20 seconds. So let's take a look at somebody else here as they play. Uh, as you know, I'm not doing that badly here. I'm bottom half of my team, but not considerably. If you look at the other team, I'm well, I'd be slightly better than bottom half of their team maybe, but I'm I'm not very good yet. I haven't played that much. Uh, so I mean, it's weird to do a uh, a let's look at of a, a free to play game because. It, it, there's no, like, consumer awareness of, like, you know, caveat emptor, buyer beware, don't get this, you know, it's a piece of shit, etc, etc. Like, that element does not exist. However, I thought maybe we could maybe uh, interact with something here, just the ammo packs, I guess. Um, however, 
there is still an element of like, is this worth your time? And I really feel like a lot of people, uh, I've been watching, you know, some discourse about Dirty Bomb. A lot of people have been like, um, you know, oh, it looks generic, it looks pay to win, etc., etc. I don't necessarily think that that is the case, and uh, I think I think you might want to give it a chance. You know, it's I've had a lot of fun with it so far. There are a lot of you know trash tier free to play games, and I do not think that this is necessarily uh, one of them. All right, let's cut him up, save some ammo. There we go, 120 for that finish there. I want to get back with my team because pretty much this is my only oh recourse of of not being complete shit here. Oh, they're shooting from so many directions. Heal me. You still alive? You still alive? You're still alive. Okay, let's do this. Our last thing is we got to deliver EMP. I, admittedly, I actually have no idea what's... Oh! I have no idea what this means. I... Maybe you can steer the orbital laser. Maybe the orbital laser, like, directly goes towards... Or, like, it homes in on enemies. I actually don't know. Uh... But I find myself getting killed by it all the freaking time. I don't understand the parkour elements as well. I think that could be perhaps maybe a little bit uh, better implemented, but it's it's fairly light criticism. Did I actually get that one? I did. You know what? I played against that person earlier today as well. I wouldn't recommend this. I wouldn't recommend this. Yo, bring me back to life, dog. Bring me back to life. That's all right. I'll just redeploy. I'm playing a little too run and gun now, but... That largely stems from me not really understanding where I need to be on the map right now. Alright, we picked up an EMP charge. Run for your life. Oh, mama, I'm afraid for my life from the long... Oh, seriously, though. Um, yeah, they're gonna finish me off. I might as well just tap out at this point and get ready to redeploy. It's a good game! Uh, is it the kind of... I, I see, whenever I see people talk about this, uh, they talk about it from, like, a business perspective, or they're more likely to talk about it from a business perspective. Like, can it dethrone TF2? Uh, no. No, it, it will not dethrone... I gotta follow my team, man. It, it will not dethrone TF2. Does it need to? Does a game need to be, like, 200 hours of, of enjoyment for every player in order to, you know, cement its place as a decent ability to spend your time. I know that a lot of people have, it's it's like the MOBA conundrum where they have one first person shooter that they play and that's it, you know? They're like, why would I invest time into playing a different first person shooter if I could just invest my time into getting better at the current first person shooter that I'm playing? If you are that kind of person, this will not be the, the game for you, I would I would hazard a guess. Um, but if you're not that kind of person and you're looking for some variety, I would... Uh, I would definitely think that there's a lot worse that you could spend your time with than this. And that sounds like it's kind of a backhanded compliment, but, like, genuinely, I've had a really good time with the game so far, and I've, I've found myself engaged in wanting to play more as well. So there's where we gotta deposit the EMP charge, I think. Do we have, like, any, any DPS here? We certainly have uh, snipers on the enemy team. Alright, are we doing this? Let's do this, then. If we're doing this, let's do this. Oh! Okay, you know what? Just fucking go around the other orbital laser. I think that's the EMP. This is where we have to deposit it? We're so close! Except I just got blown up by a grenade, but we're still so close! Yes! 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 Carry it! Did we deposit it? Is it being deposited as we speak? We've delivered it! Oh, we gotta do a couple, I guess. We gotta do two. Oh, that felt good. Alrighty. 60 meters away. Let's do this, team. I've graduated at the top half. I'm feeling pretty good. Alright, sniper. I got you, dog. We are gonna do this. And you and I like a yes song. Here, come this way. Come. Oh, don't come this way. Go any way apart from this way because this is disastrous. So yeah, I mean, I find myself being a little bit less professional in this video than I am in most Let's Look Ats, but I think uh, Dirty Bomb is pretty good. I think Dirty Bomb is a pretty good game. You shot me in the head even though I was already dead. That is ultimate level of disrespect. It's actually pretty tense here. We This is a well-balanced game. I'm glad that we got to see one of these after um, the last game, which was not particularly, uh, I guess, you know, balanced, enjoyable. Uh, ooh, why do they tap out? Maybe he got shot in the head. I can't necessarily hate on him for that. Um, ooh, what's going on here? Sometimes I do get a little, you know, sensory overload. Yep, that's another orbital laser. You know, you're tempted to be, after two hours, to be like, oh, the orbital laser's overpowered, but, you know, I just probably am ignorant of some of the mechanics of it. It does seem, like, really powerful, though. Um, yeah, basically, my, my thoughts on Dirty Bomb boil down to, if you like what you see, give it a try. You know, if you're looking for something to play, it's been a really stacked year for great games, but if somehow you find yourself being like, I don't know what I want to play today, uh, you know, consider giving... Yeah, that was a good decision. Uh, consider giving Dirty Bomb a shot. I think you might have a... 
more fun than you'd originally anticipated you'd have based on first glance, perhaps. Oh my god, more airstrikes. What is this red line on the ground? Yeah, that's what I sort of figured was going to happen there. What's this laser beam on my head? And I have slipped again down here. I mean, I realize that I'm not meant to be like a murder you class, but at the same time, I don't feel like I'm doing a great job of it either way. The game runs well, by the way. I'm looking at exploit. It's a little choppy. It looks a little dark here, but uh, it does. It, it runs quite smoothly in in practice, in media res, if you will. What could possibly go wrong? Just start chopping at people with your knife. It actually did not work at all. I thought if I stabbed them in the face that oh, he brought me back. My hero! Okay, and then I bring you back, and all of a sudden we got like the Evolve kind of medic chain going on here, and the game is ours, Trebek! Oh, this is, this is sweet, and we win. I can't believe it. I was a little worried there for a moment, but it turns out I didn't need to be. No, never mind, we lost. So, sometimes the objectives can be a little bit clearer. <laughs> I guess we, uh, we must have run out of time right at the end there. I, I really thought that we had that, but that's okay. Uh, we get, you know, you can see the average credits that you'd get after a game. We also got an equipment case. I'm gonna return to the menu because this is, you know, pretty much all I wanted to show off with Dirty Bomb. It's a fun game. If you find yourself uh, looking for something to play in the near future, I would recommend giving, uh, getting some friends together and giving uh, Dirty Bomb a try. It is a little generic, but otherwise pretty okay. This will be our last thing here. We'll uncrate a, a Cobalt card and then I'll never stop getting people Sending me friend requests trying to trade for it. Oh, it might get a bronze, y'all. Oh, you dirty dog. Nice one. Giving me lead. But that's actually kind of cool because I haven't unlocked the sniper yet. So at least I have something there that I can, you know, eventually maybe be able to use. For now, though. Thanks for watching. Loadout is available on Steam. Uh, you just search Loadout on Steam or I'll put a link in the video description below. But it'll open the web browsers, which is, you know, you got it. In any case... Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.